Good morning. Konnichiwa. And welcome to the third day of Japan Hubba 2022. This is Anjana from Indo-Japan Chamber of Commerce and Industry and Japan Hubba Organizing Committee welcoming you all. Today we are very happy to present the program You Are Hired, a part of Japan Hubba Tech Fair. Since 2016, Japan Hubba, apart from its cultural activities, started Tech Fair at IISC, which includes the Tech Talks, the Startup Pitch, and the bilingual job opportunities in the JV companies and the other Indian companies. This program is primarily organized by Indo-Japan Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Japan External Trade Organization, Indian Institute of Science and IEEE Student Branch, and Japan Hapa Organizing Committee. Today, we are happy to have the job uh, talks titled, You Are Hired from rep uh, 10 Reputed Organizations. They are uh, Yasakawa India Private Limited, Rakuten India Private Limited, Daily Rounds and Maro, Sony India Software Center Private Limited, ACZ Global Private Limited and Ocean Academy uh, Learning Academy, Toshiba Software, Solis India, Fujitsu Consulting India, Dino Management Consulting and Mercury. We welcome you all. The speakers are uh, having rich experience in the HR background and talent acquisitions. They will be speaking about their company, the work culture, the uh, openings that they have for you. And uh, one other thing is all the jobs are already been made available at jobs.japanhubba.org. I request all the participants to kindly open uh, the portal job, uh, jobs at uh, jobs.japanhubba.org. All of them who are watching, please go through this portal, check for this job listings. The JDs are clearly mentioned on the job listed and there is a apply now button and you can press them for apply. The time allocated for each uh, company would be 12 minutes. The first eight companies would be for 12 minutes and three minutes for question and answer session. So it will be uh, put in the chat. I will be uh, able to take it from the chat and then the YouTube and the Discord. If we are unable to, you know, answer at this point of time, we will be answering those separately. Okay. So may I now request the Yasakawa India Private Limited to make the presentation, please. We have Mr. B.S. Harish, uh, the head of HR, the uh, general affairs, who takes care of the general affairs, functions, corporate governance, CSR, and trade control. Welcome once again, Mr. Harish San. Over Thank to you, you please. <clears throat> Thank you, Anjana San. Uh, very good morning to everyone. Uh, uh, it's really a pleasure to be always, uh, you know, here at Japan Hub. Uh, this is such a wonderful platform which has been created by IC, uh, IJ uh, CCI team. Uh, so every year, uh, you know, we get an opportunity to meet up with a lot of people across uh, to really exchange the kind of information and culture. Um, obviously, it's it's uh, really a pleasure to be here. Okay, so saying that, uh, <clears throat> uh, I represent uh, Eskawa India Private Limited. Uh, this is a Japanese multinational company. Uh, so I would like to take you through the company uh, details and also provide uh, the kind of job opportunities, what we can offer at this point of time. So kindly allow me to share my uh, screen. Anjana san, kindly confirm if you can uh, see my uh, presentation. Yes, we are able to see Mr. Harish. Okay, Please great. go on. Thank you so much. Thank you. So again, uh, I welcome each one of you here. Uh, so it's a great pleasure meeting you all. Okay, and giving a presentation on Yaskawa. 
So Yaskawa India Private Limited. Uh, so we are into drives, motion control and robotics. So these are three major sectors uh, what we are into. So Yaskawa, you know, to talk about, uh, you know, today, it is more into energy uh, savings and also supporting the uh, humankind. So today, if we look at uh, across us, you know, around us, what is that we are looking at? Today, you know, a lot of talks have been happening on urbanization, digitization, industrialization, uh, you know, internet of things. So there are many, many things. So what ESCO is trying to do, and we have a plans to get ready ourselves for 2025 and 2050. So we are always a very proactive company who thinks a very, very a way ahead. How is that we can support our customers? So what is that we support we can provide is we have the best technological products in terms of robotics, motion and control and drives. You know, robotics, of course, most of you will be very keen and you might have already seen our robotics are, you know, being used in most of the automobile companies, you know, where human jobs are still, uh, you know, it is very difficult to do, like painting or welding, uh, you know, it, or pick and, you know, placing the products. So our robotics are been there you know helping the humankind to do very tedious work in a sp short span of time and giving that kind of quality what is required and coming to motion control of course it works like a brain uh, you know uh, in any of the products wherein it takes a lot of control of the machines and equipments and it will support us and when it comes to ac drives you know these are uh, the drives which really controls the speed of the motor and also energy saving, which can give a uh, lot of return back on investment. Okay, I will talk more about the product as we go on. Now, talking about Yaskawa, you know what Yaskawa brand are all about, if you would like to understand. Yaskawa, as I said, it's a Japanese based company, you know, it's from Japan, it's 100 plus years today. Uh, it started in 1915 and today we are 2022 uh, you know we are very proud the kind of journey Yaskawa has been and we are globally recognized and we are very well known in in various segments in various segments I, I just can't name it because it we are into almost every segment and then the technology if you talk about you know over a century we have been lord we have been doing a lot of innovations and our technology I, i'll be very proud and you know straight away put it across to you the best technology what we have when it comes to our products and we stand for quality and reliability uh, you know re I, I remember some five years before i'd been to uh, tata steels and uh, one of their cranes was using our product and uh, i asked them what is the product you are using in the crane they said it's Escava product. I don't remember because it was, uh, um, you know, it was built into the machine 15 years before. Until date, we never have any issues. So that's how, uh, you know, I can vouch for the product. So we stand for quality and reliability. And then uh, coming to the re uh, results, of course, you know, we demonstrate for long-term values to customers. As I was just talking about, we have already started looking into 2025, 2020. Uh, 2050. Uh, that's how uh, you know the visionaries we have in a company uh, who take care of customers. And of course, talking about uh, the uh, team, it has a lot of core values and it's been uh, really doing good. So saying all this, of course, you know we are a global uh, player and we have a global f footprint. Uh, so today, uh, you know, we have uh, 12 manufacturing units across uh, globe. Uh, we are present in 30 countries, 100 plus years of experience, and we have sold more than 30 million uh, variable frequency drives. You know, so and when it comes to robot, we have sold more than five lakh. Uh, you know, 500K uh, robots uh, till 2020. So it, in the worldwide, if you look at what is our employee strength, it's 15,000 plus, you know, we have. 
And what is the revenue? If you ask me, it's $3.56 billion company. Uh, it's been doing fantastically good. So just to give you, uh, you know, a snapshot of our offices across, uh, you know, we can look at the picture. Of course, it's very much self-explanatory. Uh, you know, we are providing uh, the pictures to you. Uh, why is he head office? Why is he is Yaskawa Electric uh, Corporation Japan? So in uh, Japan, this is how the offices looks, and uh, you know Japan, uh, America, and then uh, Europe. And at Yaskawa India, uh, how is that we are present in India? Of course, uh, you know we came into India. That Yaskawa came into India way back in 1980. Uh, through you know its first product uh, PLCs and also got in joint venture with LNT Larson and Turbo, uh, wherein they were front ending as a marketing and sales for us. And so Eskava was very much specialized on uh, uh, manufacturing, and it was built uh, uh, in Japan and uh, marketed and sold in India by LNT. That's how the journey started, and then. <clears throat> the robotic business came into India uh, with again uh, one more joint venture with Madison uh, uh, Sumitsu. Um, so that's how the thing started. And uh, around 2011, yes, we started uh, this company, Eskawa India Private Limited. And I'm very proud to say I'm the first employee for this company. Uh, we started in India. And today we are 245 employees. Uh, with an uh, Indian turnover of almost uh, in, in rupees, if you want to put it as it's more than 450 crores uh, turnover. So 2015, uh, we came out of uh, uh, joint ventures with LNT and we are on our own now. So we have established our sales, marketing, after sales, engineering, all departments and we are full fledged operations in India. Uh, because basically our idea was to be with the customers. We wanted to be very close to our customers, giving them the best technology, trying to understand what's their day-to-day -day requirement and how is that we can improvise on our products and processes to support the customers. That was the basic intention of uh, starting an establishment here at India. Otherwise, LNT was doing fantastic work for us and uh, we were very good, excellent partners. So this is our India presence today. If you look at, uh, so we have our corporate uh, and register office at Bangalore, and also we have our drives assembly center at Bangalore. And uh, um, we have our robotics division head office at Gurgaon, and sales and marketing uh, service offices across India. And also we have a lot of partners who are supporting us across India to be very close to the customers and trying to support them on day to day. So we are present in Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, and recently we just started Kolkata. Uh, so this is how uh, you know we are present. And this is the partners uh, you know list we are sharing about. Uh, so we have authorized service centers and authorized business partners. Authorized service centers, why do we call authorized service centers? Because uh, we carefully look at uh, the partners who are going to be uh, with Yaskawa, who are going to service the customers. So we give them a lot of support, not only in just of, you know, support and establishing a you know, business, but again, the sharing the kind of technology, what is required for them, giving the required trainings and also certifying them they have been authorized as a service center to service our products and supporting the customers. So there is a lot of processes which has gone through uh, in really giving out that kind of quality returns to the customers. Look at the India leadership team, uh, Akinori Urakawa, uh, she is our chairman and president for Eskava India. We have Shailendra Sarvi, who is a CEO and vice president of Eskava India. Ajay Gujar, who is the director and CEO for robotics division. And we again have one of our Japan colleague uh, expat who has come in uh, to India, uh, Tomi, uh, Tomomi Omori-san. Uh, he is a director and CFO. And of course, the uh, other leadership team, myself here, and then we have another expat, Maida-san, uh, who is the chief technical officer. 
and we have Sanjay Tiwari, who is a deputy CFO, and we have Bhavani Shankar, who is head of manufacturing for Drives Motion and Control. So this is a leadership team for Yaskawa India. And as I was talking about the three major, you know, uh, product range, what we have starting from motion control, uh, so AC servo motors and controls. Uh, controllers, then linear servo motors, AC drives, PM motors. When it comes to robotics, again, you know, there are a lot of uh, range of uh, you know, robots which is available. Of course, robots are manufactured in Japan. We get robot, raw robot here, and based on the customer requirements uh, on the, their uh, operations, uh, we what we do is we engineer. Uh, we do engineering services and uh, we build solutions for customers in robotics. And uh, coming to system engineering, of course, we do a lot of uh, panel building. Uh, you know, if you can ask me what is the capacity, you know, we can go up to almost uh, uh, 690 volts to 415 uh, volts. And then, uh, you know, we have uh, a dedicated place at Bangalore and uh, at a time we can build 60 panels. So that's a very huge facility what we have in supporting customers. So it's just not the technology, it's just not the products. Again, uh, end of the day, uh, the we also take care of our products and also our customers. So how is that we provide services uh, to them? We have online technical support. We have a dedicated team sitting at 24 seven, uh, wherein we provide uh, uh, you know support to customers online it can be a chat support it can be an email uh, you know we have an automated system and also we do have uh, you know field services uh, wherein we have our engineers where they can go to the site and troubleshoot uh, the products we also support customers on spare parts uh, because it's not always uh, the new products what's been bought on, but we also get into AMCs and we do provide uh, maintenance services to customers. So we have spare parts to provide. So this is how a lot of, uh, you know, the support being given and also, you know, the training. Training is something very, very important because when we are dealing with technology, uh, technical, you know, technology. Uh, it is ju we just not giving out products, but again, you know, we need to give them the kind of insight into the product so that uh, the customers are uh, given a free hand to use our products in getting the best returns out of, and uh, they can enjoy uh, their yeah. day to day life. Harish San, so the time is up, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take another minute. I am just finishing it. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, so uh, the strong customer base if you look across you know we have and uh, you know I'll skip this slide so it's not always business we also uh, look at corporate social responsibility we do a lot of corporate uh, social responsibility helping uh, the required uh, uh, you know back uh, backward uh, students or institutions in supporting the kind of uh, support what we can provide on and also we collaborate with a lot of institutions across, so you name it, and we have all the you know, all the institutions listed out across. So we do, uh, you know, hire a lot of people, and you know, this is the quality, uh, you know, awards and recognitions what we have, and we are all very much present in the media. Okay, our passion for manufacturing is timeless, and we will never change. Uh, so. I'll come back to the final slide of mine. So I would like to offer here, we are looking for accounts and finance trainees, uh, you know, for a Gurgaon location, uh, qualification, anything, start from BCom to CA, Inter, SW, or MBA uh, with zero to three years experience. You know, we would like to look at because we have just implemented SAP. So it's a great opportunity for somebody who has an accounting background and would like to learn SAP and also understand the corporate culture Yes, so welcomes you. So you can provide your uh, profiles on the given email ID. And also we are looking at graduate engineering tra engineering trainings. So anybody having a uh, you know, qualification in engineering when it comes to streams like electrical and electronics or mechatronics, mechanical. So we welcome people into our sales, marketing after sales services so this is what the positions are available so you can send out your profile and uh, we hr will definitely get in touch with you 
and we can have a face to face uh, discussion and see how best uh, we can support in building a new uh, talent at our company thank you thank you thank you so that's our presentation thank you yeah thank you there was one question a quick question okay yes. are uh, robots made using or uh, or sorry arduino or raspberry pi you have any information on this on the robots uh, looks like too much of technical <laughs> maybe i have to go back <laughs> okay uh, sorry, so the... uh, please pass on that uh, contact and question to me yes i'll get in touch with the technical team and revert back to the person okay the other questions are very much uh, general uh, okay. i mean how to apply for the jobs and things like that it's already been told and the jobs are already listed in jobs.japanhapa.org yes. the other okay. contact would be uh, like what you gave now so that yeah. we would be sharing to all our participants thank you, thank thank you, you very much for today uh, mr harish and now we move on to the next you. Uh, you know presentation from raputen india so we have mr uh, subhu swaminathan the vice president product and technology uh, welcome uh, mr subhu over to you please Good morning, very much, Anjana. Thank you very much for uh, this opportunity. Can I share my screen? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? Ha. Huh. Can you go to the uh, screen? Yes. Uh, I'm going to presentation yes, mode. Yes, Is yes, this better? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, I really want to thank India Japan. Chamber of Commerce and Industry, as well as the Japan Haba Organizing Committee, for providing Rakuten an opportunity to meet all the people here and uh, you know uh, explain a little bit about Rakuten and provide a context to it. So, good morning, everyone, and konnichiwa. Uh, I'll quickly walk through this uh, you know presentation. I'll just start with the video now. Uh, let me just share with the sorry about that. Let me share with the uh, sound. Rakuten India is the key technology hub of Rakuten Group Inc which is a global leader offers services in e-commerce fintech digital content communication to more than 1.5 billion members around the world along with other teams of technologies do some incredible work in artificial intelligence here's a glimpse Rakuten AI aims to empower the world by leveraging data In that effort, it is developing a world-class data platform, crafting cutting-edge marketing AI solutions, and investing heavily in core research, including knowledge graphs, to build a world-class digital product catalog. Working together is ingrained in the culture, and together we continue to be stronger. So people feel a very, very strong connect that this is a super cool technology. I think you know it's all about Rakuten culture, and there's a very famous saying, right? That culture is strategy for breakfast. Thank you. Uh, as you see, Rakuten is a global innovation company. It is started by uh, Hiroshi Mikitani-san, who is the chairman and CEO of Rakuten Inc. And the global innovation company empowering people to realize their dreams. and the global footprint is wide all the way from americas europe asia pacific and everywhere it's a global company as you see with several businesses you know in each of these geographic areas what is the mission of rakuten rakuten contributes to society by creating value through innovation and entrepreneurship as well as the mission is to be a global innovation company we drive disruptive innovation we draw knowledge creativity and passion from around the world achieve this ambitious goal we help build communities in which people can pursue the dream and live in happiness rakuten has one of very good shugi five principle which we call as something which drive each one of us and this is simply put under always improve always advance passionately being professional we always hypothesize practice validate and keep moving keep improving we maximize customer satisfaction and obviously we work at speed speed in order to make an impact to where we are 
Just to give you an overview of Rakuten, it's touching around 1.4 billion global members across the world. We have 70 plus services and with 19 trillion yen global transaction value spread across 30 countries and regions. On the right side, you can see the flywheel, which are the products that are touching you know, the regular consumers and merchants in marketplace, in commerce, in FinTech, in media and sports, and also in communication. Rakuten is a product and technology milestone. If you look at it, in India, we have developed ecosystem for you know, touching across various businesses. The Rakuten Institute of Technology, which does cutting us research in medical as well as artificial intelligence, machine learning. We have mobile networking department, data platform, data science, e-commerce, and advertisement. Uh, some of the cutting edge things we have done is Rakuten phased payment system, data-driven digital ads, competitive intelligence platform, and we are also you know, catering to 20 million card users uh, across Japan. All these innovations are done from India, closely working with all the business across the globe. Again, uh, as you can see, you know, one of the you know, important milestones we achieved during the COVID is the Rakuten One delivery using the drone technology, which was completely developed from India here and launched in Japan as well as you know, innovation in e-commerce with conversational AI, fully virtualized cloud native mobile network. And we also got award from US Department of State for the 5G clean technology. And in the rapid and medical as part of giving back to the community, cancer detection and cancer cure using AI in rapid and medical has been progressing really well. And we are in, you know, uh, you know, applying for FDA approval, which will then get to a widely commercially available market. Rakuten in India, uh, as an overview, I want to quickly say it was established in 2014, and uh, it we have currently 1,800 employees and one of the largest technologies in the outside of you know Japan for Rakuten. And we recently moved to a new office just opposite the Kaban Park in the central Bangalore. And we started, like I said, as a delivery center, and then as you see, we grew into product leadership around 2020. And now we are a product innovation led company from India, which is steering ahead with a lot of innovative products across Rakuten Group companies. Some of the capabilities I want to quickly walk you through, as I said, these are the areas where Rakuten India is working, e-commerce, ecosystem service, cybersecurity, data analytics, data platform, cloud platform, advertising, entertainment services, mobile networking, and specifically the Rakuten Institute of Technology where cutting edge research is also happening. Again, on the innovation side, I talked about medical science, which is very, very important. And we have a lot of progress happening in this with research, with the doctors, with the scientists. And we have done customer science using machine learning and analytics in customer experience, product science, conversation, AI, cloud and observability, and then mobile networks. These are the areas that we touched upon. I'm just quickly going to share what have we done in analytics. If you look at it, we have several solutions built for you know, the Ichiba, which is the marketplace similar to Flipkart and Amazon in Japan, uh, which recently touched 5 trillion gross transaction value and we're aiming for 10 trillion. So these are some of the products that we have built in the business solution and product development and technology innovation, uh, including you know, uh, mobile, brands and merchants related and understanding customer inflow and attribution to what they are buying. On the platform side, we have you no know, a largest set of data cutting across all these business. So we have built a record and catalog platform to provide a competitive intelligence. We also offer product matching as a service, record and data extractor and gender connotation tool and product knowledge graph. Uh, these are built ground up from India with global collaboration and innovation happening from India. On the product side, I'm really happy to share that India started the first B2B product services from India. And we have a product called Sixth Sense, which is on the application monitoring and observability mm -hmm. space and helping all the companies in their digital transformation effort. How do you proactively look at issues and then detect issues much earlier and then fix them without impacting the business and customer. 
And again, we recently launched an NFT marketplace in Japan, which you know had tremendous amount of opening. And we have around you know uh, 75 content providers with currently live to content providers happening, enabling both B2C as well as C2C of you know, non-fungible tokens. On the research side, like I said, you know, we've been focused mainly on medical solutions, which you know, provide digital pathology, genomics, and working on cancer research, as well as on the record and social graphs, it allows identify relationship between record and customers and surveys, so we can develop a much better product and reach the customer and you know, make an impact, as well as in conversational AI platform, we have done an excellent amount of research that is happening. Now, coming to the core of this conversation or talk, uh, we have these you know, openings right now in you know, Racket in India, full stack engineering, QA, backend, DevOps, front-end engineering, and bilingual project managers, as well as we have mobile development in iOS engineering, Android engineering, and data engineering. All these open positions are available in jobs.japanabout.org, or you can reach out to us also in Pakistan, India, and please check out all the open site and you know, reach out to us. And I want to quickly share that apart from working through all these, we also have consecutively got three years, great place to work, which is a gold standard in IDP and recognizing great workplace and cultures. And we are really proud to be part of this, I guess, list of companies and record and winning this year over year. And we also have got, you know, top GCC, Global Capability Center in AI Analytics, top 250 best managers out of 5,000 participant managers. And we have three managers record in India who won the top under TFI Young HR Leader Award. As well as we have been in top 50 firms in India for data scientists to work for, 40 under 40 data scientists, and a company with great managers, second year in a row. So with that, I want to end this session. Hope this gave a brief glimpse of what Rakuten and Rakuten India is about. I'm really looking forward to collaborate and I invite all of you who are looking for a job opportunity. Rakuten is the best place to be in, you're hired. Thank you very much, Anjana. Thank Back you. to you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Subhu. Thanks a lot for sharing the uh, journey of Rakuten India and also on the product innovation. So there are a few questions I would like to take it up now. Okay. Want to know more about Rakuten Entertainment Services? Uh, Rakuten Entertainment, uh, you know, we have several entertainment like Rakuten Wiki, Rakuten you know, Music, Rakuten Tickets, and NFT is also one of the part of the sports and media services. We have all these products getting developed from India. And we work very closely with the business and understand the market requirement and develop these products and launch it from India to the Japan market. So these are some of the services that we have in the media and entertainment space. Thank you. So the other question is, is SAP allowed in Rakuten? Um, actually, it, we recently moved into SAP for a global financial management. So SAP as a corporate you know, office tool, corporate finance tool is used as a back office. But as you saw, several opportunities that we have is to build products like SAP from Britain, India. That is something I want to share. Thank you. And do you make games? Uh, we are not into gaming yet. Uh, that is something which you're also exploring as part of the media and entertainment services. But currently, we don't have a specific game of, you know, offering to the market. Okay. So there is one question. Um, the a person is working in oil and gas industry and as an analyst. And do you have any analyst field in there? Absolutely. See, we are looking for people with analytical analyst background to work in data science. And, and really, if you are interested in learning more and growing more, Rakuten has a culture of enabling people to grow from diverse field into new set of fields. There is no limitation as such for learning and growth. And Rakuten is very, very employee-centric culture and company, as you can see. We look forward for any diverse people coming from diverse you know, uh, background and able to learn and contribute as you saw Rakuten's mission, it's all about empowering the society 
through global innovation. Okay. One last question. Uh, as a medical personnel, what opportunities I can expect? There's not on the IT or any other fields. Yeah. Absolutely. Today, as you know, um, you know, digital transformation is touching every field. No industry is, you know, avoiding, you know, digital transformation or computer science or the data science. So we do work with the Rakuten Institute of Technology is working in medical field and exploring. And we have a very strong presence in U.S. working closely with Broad Institute and MIT and Stanford in the Rakuten medical area, you know, and like I said, we are right now working on immunotherapy on cancer, you know, uh, you know, treatment, and how do we, you know, shorten the gap of treatment so that we can find solution for cancer. So absolutely, you know, we have opportunity for people in the medical field to come in and work with the researchers and guide them as well as contribute towards that. Okay, thank you very much. The time is up, and then there are many questions. I would like to put it on to you directly. Uh, sure. Thank you very much, Subhu, for today. And we now thank move you. on to the next presentation from the Daily Rounds and Marrow. We have Ms. Yashna Unikar, the strategic HR partner from Daily Rounds. Yashna? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Over to, hi, over to you, please. Sure. I'll just present my screen. Um, can you guys hear me clearly and see my screen? Uh, yes. Yes. Great. Hope everyone's doing well. So representing Daily Rounds Marrow, um, the vision that we have as a company is to organize the knowledge of practice of medicine. You all will understand the vision going forward. So I will just like you take you all to how it all started in the first place. So uh, back in 2013, when Dr. Deepu, our co-founder, was working as a physician with the primary health center in Kerala, he noticed that to discuss clinical cases with the medical fraternity and to find um, new solutions to old problems, publications were considered idle back in those days. So he thought, why not develop a platform for constructive criticism for uh, all the medical professionals? This is how Daily Rounds came into the picture in 2015. It has around 1.3 million registered doctors worldwide uh, with 400 daily publications. So um, it's the largest academic network for all the healthcare professionals. When Daily Rounds was launched, he thought, I mean, that is just not enough. He wanted to do something more. So um, he launched a database of drugs, which provides all the information like your pricing, brand name, molecules, uh, alternatives available in the market, adverse effects, so on and so forth. This is how we had our next product in 2016, which was India Drug Index, known as IDI. And it has 4.7 lakh users with 3,900 plus drugs. The thing to do more never ceases to stop for Dr. Deepu. So he thought, why not develop something for all the students preparing for the medical entrance exam? This is how we had Marrow to the Rescue in 2017. It has all the question bank, test series, video, notes, everything in one platform for all, the, all of those who are preparing for NEET PG. We partnered with M3 in 2019, which is a Japanese-based healthcare organization. And we have an employee strength of 350. In a nutshell, we are a product-driven healthcare organization um, based out of Bangalore and we are self-funded. Also, we have a team size of 350. While I'm talking about daily rounds, this is what I mean when we discuss clinical cases. So a person probably puts in a query and you have all the healthcare professionals discussing about the particular case. So there are a lot of insights which you get from your fellow doctors. When I talk about drugs, this is what I mean. So if you probably just put in on the app in terms of any drug that you want to know, you will get all the information about that particular drug in this app. About marrow. So when I talk about videos, um, we have 700 plus hours of all the recorded videos. So we have um, the best of the faculty in India who you know makes all these, I mean, they are the ones who actually talk in these videos. So you get the best of the learning from the best 19 faculty in India. 
when I talk about question bank, we have uh, more than 18,500 plus questions on this particular platform. About our test series, we have multiple test series. Also students, if they are weak in a particular subject, they can also form their own questions and they can you know, give us short test as well. About India Drug Index, all the drugs we have listed over here, it's everything is completely evidence-based with five uh, black plus references. So you have your molecules, you have your categories, you have your brands, you have the combinations, you have everything available on this platform. Coming to the market approach and size that we have, uh, we just not cater to one si uh, sector of you know, the medical side. We cater to exam preparation, certification courses, CME programs. By CME, what I mean is continuing medical education. We cater to e-detailing market research surveys. EMR is uh, electronic medical records. We cater to hiring, we cater to telemedicine. So the key to our success is to build an engaging healthcare professional network. The kind of community and network that we have, so we can see it over here. Uh, on Facebook, we have a community of 1,55,000 when it comes to marrow. On YouTube, we have 3.2 lakh subscribers. On Instagram, we have a following of 2 lakh. In particular, the daily rounds, we have 1,92,000 uh, folks on Facebook, 50, around 57,000 when it comes to our followers on Instagram. Um, about the management uh, program for medical uh, professionals. So uh, this program is in partnership with IIM Ahmedabad. So all those medical uh, professionals who wish to pursue their career in management or wish to know more about management, they can understand about all the fundamentals of economics, HRM, marketing, operations, finance, so on and so forth. So this is how they get a combination of medical studies because they are, they are already doctors. So this is in particular for all the medical professionals. And then they learn more about management. So it's a six months uh, flagship program with IIM Ahmedabad. So just a glimpse about, you know, our graduation batch in 2021 and just some pictures uh, of the same. So all, so the faculty is from IIM Ahmedabad as well as renowned uh, founders and doctors and all the professionals from the healthcare uh, startups. We have it over here. In terms of our tech capabilities, we have a strong team of 36 members who work on iOS, Android and backend capabilities. High order, highest order data security is one of our highlights over here. We also have a product team in place which works on multiple stuff. Daily rounds, Marrow being our uh, largest two products. Uh, the other products are more in the stage to come out. Also, we have multiple uh, vacancies across. So in tech, we are looking out for iOS developers, Android developers, backend developers. In product, we are looking out for product managers. We are also looking out for graphic designers and UX UI designers. So if you all are, I mean, if you all want to work across, do share your CV across to us. We have all the openings in Japan Hub as well as a career side. LinkedIn is filled with all the vacancies that we have right now. Why work with us? So over here, you can see a lot on the screen, but I would like to cite a personal example. So I work as a strategic HR partner over here. I don't have any prior experience. I joined in the November, 2021. So no two days are the same for me. Working in a startup gives you an opportunity to work on multiple things. If I, work, if I want to work with the marketing team on communication side or anything, I get the chance to work over there as well. So whatever you want to do, you get the opportunity as long as you, know, you are working. And uh, we recently launched an employee assistance program as well. So this is mainly for mental well-being, for the families, for our employees, as well as the family members. So whenever you feel like taking a counseling service, you can just log in to the platform and you can you know, avail those services. So we are very open to making mistakes as long as we are learning from them. There are ample opportunities to learn over here. And uh, as long as you want to uh, learn, you're free, feel free to join. And years of experience don't matter to us. As long as you have the learning potential with the ability to, uh, with all the high energy that you have, then definitely you can, you know, fit in our culture. So this is just about uh, what we do in short. Uh, uh, all the relocation assistance or whatever it is there, you, all the learnings, everything you'll get uh, working with daily rounds, Maro.
So this is just about us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Yashna. Thank you for the nice uh, presentation of daily rounds on the medical lab and also the marrow for medical uh, student uh, uh, you know, education, providing a lot of information. Yes, there is one question. We'll move on to the sure. question and answers. Um, can a doctor be affiliated with daily rounds virtually and what Definitely. requirements? Okay, great. Very nice question. So uh, if when you all, uh, if when you all went, when I showed you all the marrow presentation, you all saw the question bank part, right? So all the questions that, I mean, all the content that you see on the marrow app, it is prepared by all the uh, doctors. So these are doctors who are preparing for the NEET PG examination because they are the right folks to actually put the content. So definitely you have the opportunity to work with us. Uh, do shoot an email to us, visit our career page, Feel free to ask me any questions. So my colleague Natasha has uh, kept my email ID as well as kept the career page. Feel free to apply for all the vacancies that we have. So definitely doctors play a very big part of our content. And uh, we are a team, we have all the young folks across uh, doctors, engineers, HR folks, marketing, so on and so forth. So definitely, in fact, our marketing head is a doctor. So do doctors do have a lot of scope working with us thanks thanks uh, yashna this is another uh, question um, is daily rounds involved in deep learning related to medical purposes yes so i'm uh, what exactly do you mean by deep learning over here so there is a, uh, that much is the question so we will get back to that and then if uh, sure. gc so can if you, you know come learning yes. Marrow is a platform which is solely for, you know, all the medical professionals to learn. When I talk about daily rounds where you'll discuss clinical cases, it is your continuing medical education which comes into picture because you are learning in the process, you're interacting with other healthcare professionals. So definitely uh, there is a lot of learnings for the medical professionals. I hope I'm able to answer your question, not sure. So there are... I see there are a lot of uh, job openings from daily rounds listed in jobs.japanhubbot.org. Yes, yes. So you are really a young team. All the very best to you and uh, thank you very for much. your continuous relation. Thank Great. you very thank much, you. Uh, Yashna, for your presentation. So um, thank you for today. So we will move on to the next uh, presentation uh, from Sony India Software uh, Center Private Limited. We have Mr. Shiva Murugan Sermakani, the Director of Talent Acquisition. All right, thank you. Mr. Shiva Murugan, hi, welcome. Yeah, hi, very good morning, Konecheva, to everyone. Uh, I hope I'm visible and audible to all of you. Uh, yes. Glad that so many of you are there today morning uh, and really, really excited to talk about uh, Sony India Software Center and our culture uh, in this forum. So let me quickly start with a video uh, which will talk about uh, Sony's purpose and value. Uh, and from that, I will build on uh, to my presentation. Just a minute. Yeah. Is my screen visible? Yeah, okay. you laugh. Sometimes we make you cry. We make you feel inspired, excited, amazed. Electronics that connect people to people. Mobility. Medical. And financial services that support people.
build for we we harness technology to transform and enrich lives Sony's purpose fill the world with emotion through the power of creativity and technology Sony. Okay, so that was a quick uh, video about Sony's purpose. And uh, with that, I will start with my presentation on what Sony India Software Center is all about. Just a minute. All right, so I hope my screen is visible again. So uh, my name is Siva. I manage the talent acquisition function uh, within the organization. Uh, a very warm welcome to everyone again and a very good morning. Um, Sony is such a household brand in India that it doesn't need much introduction. So I'll focus more on Sony India Software Center as an organization and what we do in India specifically today. We're going to be talking about our purpose and value, our overview, the services, the technology portfolio, our culture, beyond work, and so on and so forth. As you just saw in the video, our purpose, uh, you know, is to fill the world with emotion through the power of creativity and technology. So these are the two underlying factors for us, bring in a lot of creativity, and we involve a lot of technology. And for this, the basis are the people who bring in the creativity and technology to our end customer, consumers. Uh, talking about our values, we value these things across the globe. Uh, you know, we, we, we value the dreams and curiosity. We value diversity, integrity, and sincerity is in our core uh, aspects of anything that we do. And we also look at sustainability uh, with, with a lot of sense of uh, social responsibility. As an organization, Sony India Software Center uh, was set up back in 1997. But in 2012, it was established as a separate legal entity, uh, and it was named as Sony India Software Private Limited. You know, we call it SISC, Sony India Software Center internally for any abbreviations. This organization, you know, if you look at it, uh, to put it in a nutshell, we take care of the IT, engineering, and information security needs of Sony Corporation and its operating companies. Now, you know, you know, Sony Corporation is based out of Japan, but there are multiple Sony entities like, let's say a few examples, Sony Pictures, Sony Interactive Entertainment, which is your PlayStation business. Uh, we have the Sony Electronics North America, Electronics Europe, uh, Sony Music, so on and so forth. There are multiple number of Sony business entities. We at Sony India Software Center, we, we, we work towards the IT uh, engineering and information security related activities for Sony and its operating companies. So uh, for us, the consumer, the customers are only a Sony group of companies and we, we, we take care of uh, you know their IT needs, just to put it in a nutshell. About uh, Sony India Software Center, we are uh, in the Embassy Tech Village in Bangalore. Uh, the picture that you see there uh, is the office picture uh, in the uh, tech park. We have about 2,500 plus people strong uh, as we talk. Uh, over 200 plus projects running in different technology, different domain, uh, covering different globes. Uh, I mean, different parts of the globes uh, in terms of the projects. So we have projects from the Asia, Japan, uh, Europe, Middle East, and even uh, the Western uh, North America. All right. Uh, like I said. Uh, you know, we have different business lines in Sony and what we do in Sony India Software Center is take care of the IT engineering and information security needs. And this is how we do it. We have the global information, uh, you know, services and communication center, which is more into the uh, application development and enterprise application development, application maintenance, application enhancement related activities for Sony and its operating companies. We have another division called software architecture division, which is more uh, you know, into uh, uh, the, the embedded software and the middleware software 
for Sony product related activity. So this division predominantly works with uh, uh, the Tokyo teams. Uh, they, they take care of the software that embeds between uh, the product, uh, the software that operates the product, basically the OSS part, the middleware part, and, and much more beyond that. And finally, we have the information security division, which, uh, which you know, the, the name stands for itself, which manages the enterprise application security. Uh, again, uh, it is more into enterprise application security when it comes to Sony and its uh, operating companies. So these three are the core uh, business lines for us. And these divisions support Sony and its operating companies uh, based on the nature of activity that each one of them carry with us. A quick run through on what uh, the tech stacks of these uh, you know, business lines are. So we have the GIC IN technology portfolio here. Like I mentioned, these are the enterprise application development uh, and maintenance part of our organization. Talk about, uh, you know, enterprise activities like supporting business activities from your SAP to Java to .NET or be it on the data management when it comes to, uh, you know, managing a big databases, uh, even, um, you know, the... Uh, you know, data lake kind of activities that have recently been carried over, uh, carried on uh, with us. And then we have the platform engineering, which is more into Android, uh, you know, what we call internally as Mac, the social media and mobile, uh, the Android uh, and other, uh, you know, Amazon web services, DevOps related activities. We have very good project management teams. Uh, we also have a platform and integration team and consumer facing applications, as you see there. So. This division predominantly works on the cutting edge technologies uh, in terms of application development and maintenance, to put it in a nutshell. The software architecture division, uh, their technology portfolio, like I mentioned, this division specifically worked on uh, product related software. Uh, so as you see here, we have activities going on the you know, platform and the system software side, audio video codec, we do a lot of uh, activities for the home entertainment, the audio entertainment side of uh, Sony business, the network middleware, uh, the media related web cloud, and we do a lot of advanced automation using Python. Uh, and these activities are mainly done for uh, you know, multiple pro you know, uh, customers across uh, the thing. We do a lot of product security while the information division, information security division concentrates on the ent enterprise application security. Uh, software architecture division works on a lot of very, very niche product security areas, and we do a lot of AI ML activities, including deep learning as well. In fact, uh, we work a lot uh, of uh, projects on this, and we also have a framework, uh, the Sony's uh, you know, home uh, framework called Nabla, on which a lot of projects are done from this division. From an information security division portfolio, these are the four main things that they take care. They take off VM, the vulnerability management, the incident management, risk management, and it does. So talking about vulnerability management, we do a lot of you know website VM, infrastructure VM, penetration testing. Moving on to incident management, we do a lot of things on the McAfee EPO support, non-McAfee products as well. Uh, we take care of uh, you know the phishing and malware analysis, et cetera. Basically, this division takes care of uh, any uh, information security needs for Sony, uh, you know, a group of companies, and uh, not just you know preventing the thing, but also looking into what are the possible future threats that, as an organization, we'll have, and how we would be preparing ourselves uh, for that kind of incident is something that this division is all about. Our culture, we are more and people centric. Uh, even when I spoke uh, in the beginning about Sony's culture in terms of how we uh, think businesses, people are the core for us on which uh, the creativity, technology, everything is built upon. So we are an organization which is more centric towards people. Uh, performance driven. We have we we look at what is the value addition that we can make from our daily activities. We do a lot of things beyond our you know routine um, uh, work. We collaborate a lot uh, between ourselves and between our st stakeholders across the globe. Uh, we look at rec recognition as a uh, a major thing as a driving factor. 
we look at learning as a continuous process in the organization we are flexible to our people we are also socially responsible not for uh, the members working with us but for what is that we can give it back to the society something that we always uh, keep in a watch on we constantly engage and we are an open house meaning you know it, it's we are visioned in in a way that uh, you know anybody at any level can walk up to any member within the organization and have their uh, thought process clarified or shared and if there is value in it they will see that uh, you know uh, happen uh, in the organization for sure like i mentioned uh, we do a lot of activities beyond work uh, these are tech technical events that are held uh, in bangalore and across globe wherever it happens the team from bangalore has also participated some of them uh, to name here are open house where uh, it is a technology event where uh, a team of members can choose a topic uh, of problem statement come up with a own poc for that particular project it not necessarily uh, has to be something related to their project people can pick up a totally different uh, you know business problem on a totally different technology they are not working on the project on come up with a poc and they have stalls to you know booth setups to uh, demonstrate this pocs and we have uh, you know uh, representatives across the globe coming to the office on uh, these event days and typically if an idea is good they even go to the level of productization so that's the level of intensity of activities that we have beyond your project beyond your technology works etc uh, not just in bangalore wherever uh, such events happen the team from bangalore also participate the one that you see on the top corner or the ones uh, which uh, the events happened outside in india and uh, where the teams have represented uh, sony india software center in these events not just uh, technology work and responsibility we do a lot of fun as well uh, we have a lot of cultural events we have a lot of sports events and celebrations are something that we constantly look forward to do uh, at work and outside work uh, you know these pictures are not just uh, from the pre pandemic days some of these pictures have recently happened we had a business meet uh, uh, back in march where we did in a hybrid model this year uh and and uh, this year we saw a lot of members wanting to participate in physical which is a good news for us uh so we we constantly look at fun as a main uh, aspect beyond the work here yeah so like we were told there are postings done uh, in japan hub page uh, you can go check it out uh, if you're looking for anything you know later Uh, this is our website on the career page you can go look out for opportunities that are available uh, and and these are live uh, job posting that you will see which are valid and of course we are on the social media so you can follow us here uh, to get updates about the organizations opportunities etc so thank you again for the opportunity uh, and we look forward to uh, you know see applications from you all and uh, we we uh, we hope that few of you uh, end up working with us thank you again good day thank you thank you very much mr shivamurugan very nice presentation of sony and also the it services uh, it engineering activities and product related services in india that's happening at sisc so there are few questions can i please sure 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 okay so Uh, any chance for sony to open a gaming or a gaming services branch in india uh sony to open what i'm sorry i i couldn't hear that a uh, gaming gaming services uh see um gaming as a service we have not open in india but uh i did mention about a division called software architecture division we do a lot of graphics related work in this particular division uh and and these uh, graphics include you know uh, 3d related ones right so we do uh, work related to graphics but not specifically on gaming uh but gaming is in our dna and we will uh, you know uh, come up with some activities for sure in the future so there is a, a related question what about anime related skilled people animation is it yeah anime related anime okay so like i said graphics is something that we are currently doing 
uh, and uh, the software architecture division has works related to this. Uh, it has animation, 3D and uh, 2D, everything. Uh, but uh, gaming certainly not currently, but we are looking forward to has start some activity there. Okay, more on the animation only. Uh, do you work on VFX? Specific no. question. No, no, no. So we do not work on VFX. Uh, so they are, those activities are part of uh, the Sony studios. They are predominantly uh, in, in Malaysia uh, and in the West. Okay. Uh, there is one last question. I will take this up because a lot many questions on the job openings itself. Uh, sure. Yes. What are the qualifications? Are you looking for any qualifications in Sony Interactive Entertainment? Yeah, for SIE Sony Interactive Entertainment, uh, we do have opportunities currently, uh, which are more on the technology stack. We have requirements uh, on the Java full stack. We have uh, requirements on the automation. We have requirements on the site reliability engineering. Uh, and, and for these uh, requirements, more than the qualification, it is about uh, the quality of work and what you bring to the table rather than the number of years of experience and the qualification in the background you come up with. So you can look out for these opportunities uh, in the website and accordingly apply to them. So since you are involved in lot many gaming and the other IT services and many other things, so is the legal services related opportunities are available with Sony? Uh, no, is those activities are not done from this center. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, I think we have uh, answered most of the things. So thank you very much, Mr. Shivamurugan. Thanks a lot for today and a wonderful presentation. We thank, thank you, you for you. being present on Sunday. Thank you again. So we now uh, move on to the next presentation from uh, ACZ Global Private Limited and Ocean uh, Learning Academy. Uh, we have uh, Ms. Srishti Navalgund, the senior Japanese faculty and trainer. Uh, Srishti san, over to you. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you so you. much, uh, Anjana san. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, IGCCI Bengaluru and Japan Hub Committee for providing us this uh, opportunity to share a company profile. Uh, so I would like to present my uh, screen. Can I have a confirmation if my yes. presentation Can you is... go to the uh, slideshow yes. mode? Yeah. Yes. Is this uh, good enough, uh, Janasa? Ah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, so very go uh, good morning. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, very good morning and a warm welcome to all of us. And uh, I'm Trishti here, and I'm here today to introduce our company, ACZ Global uh, Private Limited and Ocean Learning Academy. So uh, what is ACZ Global Private Limited? We are a leading international consulting company and we have our offices in Bengaluru, Pune and Chennai. Basically, we are a talent acquisition company and our objective was to cater to uh, the large and uh, medium and smaller segment uh, organizations. And we have another uh, vertical, which is Ocean Learning Academy and another unit of ACZ Global. We are mostly into skill and career development uh, of people and company uh, employees. And we also have this office in Bengaluru. So now may I brief about the ACZ uh, solutions and uh, what are the services that we have off to offer? So first is the business support. So we provide the complete support for business setup uh, from very initial stage to any organization wanting to relocate to India and for foreigners uh, relocating to India. So we also offer global expat management services and we we have HR solutions. So talent acquisition or recruitment is our forte and we cater to major Japanese giants in India. Our clientele runs from small to large scale, uh, BSFI, IT and non-IT companies. And we have the training segment. So we train people in various foreign languages and other foreign uh, languages also, which I'm going to explain later on in the slide. And we train people on professional courses and provide translation and interpretation services. 
I would like to take you through the milestones. So ACZ was set up in 2012 uh, in order to uh, help the resourcing and recruitment and providing the HR solutions and enhancing the uh, uh, business. And we expanded our uh, uh, jobs. And then we had our uh, new setups in Pune and Chennai in 2017. And in 2018, ACZ Global became a private limited company and we registered under Indian Companies Act. And in 2019, we set up a new uh, unit called Ocean Learning Academy to start uh, the help in foreign language training, professional courses, translation and in, uh, interpretation services. So we are a decade old company, but uh, we are well set and already our names are well established in the organization. So now let me explain you uh, what services we have under ACZ banner. So as a business setup, uh, any organization looking for turnkey and expert services in setting up business uh, without any hassles and uh, thereafter function smoothly, we are just a call away. Our array of services include office location, uh, complying with regulatory affairs, uh, legal formalities, uh, product promotional activities, and many more. We also offer uh, employee engaging services. So subsequent to business setup, we focus on uh, people management health. So now is our expat services. So this is one of the key factors uh, for any expat to have a pleasant stay. So whether one is on a temporary stay or a permanent stay, we help every individual to have a memorable stay in India and we provide temporary and permanent accommodations. And if any expat relocate with their families, we provide uh, the educational institutions help for the children and we go a step forward and offer uh, helpers, our chefs, or any kind of a support staff required to have a comfortable stay in India. So next is our human resource management. So under HR management services, our strength is resourcing. Our recruiters are specialized in uh, every domain, specifically uh, so in IT and non-IT, automobile and semiconductor areas. Our module is hire, train, and deploy. So uh, we, we will very soon engage our uh, services with companies who need Japanese language skills. And uh, anyone interested in this module, please contact us directly, uh, or uh, you know, we are going to post our contact details at the end of the slide. For any further information, please do get in touch with us. And next is the event management and the PR. So uh, any company success depends on its happy, and satisfied employees. Like I was hearing through uh, all the discussions uh, provided by uh, Sony and uh, you know Escava. So everybody emphasized that we have a very good employee strength. So these happy employees create uh, the core of the company. We at ACZ boost employee productivity through engagement and recreational activities and by facilitating a happy work atmosphere. So we customize our services to your requirements day by reducing company's time and effort and uh, uh, you know, developing a good PR relation. So we also offer media coverage and promotions, both in print and electronic media. So as a very famous uh, uh, saying goes, the future belongs to those who are prepared for it today. So how is that we are going to help people to prepare for tomorrow? How our organization, ACZ, can play a role to help individuals prepare today for a challenging tomorrow is through the following services. So we are here to develop that edge and achieve your goal. So the first I would like to emphasize on the language training. So we help you equip with uh, language skills. One is a majorly Japanese, and we also train on the most spoken languages across the world, uh, which is English, French, German, Spanish, Mandarin. And we also provide end-to-end -end, uh, support to take up global certifications in the respective languages. And then we have professional courses. At Ocean Learning Academy, we provide certification programs, which forms a bridge for those who have professional qualification, but not encountered real-time experience. So this is done at both student level and corporate level. So Ocean Learning Academy specializes in training vernacular languages to Japanese, especially uh, Canada and Hindi. And then we have a translation and interpretation services. 
So under this segment, we provide translation of various printed and digital materials, both technical and non-technical, which are being offered by Ocean Learning Academy. As for the students at our academy, besides the language certification, we also provide training for those who want to pursue translation and interpretation as their career. So we have now uh, the key features of Ocean Learning Academy. So we are providing a uh, very quality uh, oriented training and we provide all the globally recognized training. Subsequent to training, we do placement assistance also. So now I present the new initiatives which are being uh, uh, you know, set up by Ocean Learning Academy and ACZ hand in hand. So the first initiative is the Japan Help Desk. We provide end-to-end hassle-free turnkey support for Japanese, especially for the companies and the expats working in India. Japan Help Desk is a single window to avail these services. And the second is the career portal. So we are offering a platform for seekers and providers for both Japanese and English expertise. With a vast database of prospective candidates and employers, we connect both for a win-win situation. So our third initiative is the study abroad. So we are in the process of finalizing universities in Japan for study abroad program, which is you know, likely to happen by the end of this year or next uh, academic year. And our next initiative is the Bangalore Meet. This is a very interesting and one of its kind initiative. This is a community to connect with each other. So this is for networking with, within Japanese people and Indians and engage in recreational activities. And our last initiative, which we are planning to set to, is the Tokyo office. So very soon we will be setting up an office in Tokyo to smoothen our business with Japan. So here we are, this is our last slide. I'll just uh, summarize all our points. So with the expertise of recruitment, we have established a foreign language training center under the banner Ocean Learning Academy. So which will emphasize on training various languages, professional courses and skills. So what sets Ocean Learning Academy apart or what are the advantages of studying with us are a, we have a proficient and well-experienced trainers. We have dual mode of training, which is online and offline. And then we offer comprehensive, easy to understand and a customized study material. And we have offers for intermediate level students where we provide exposure to real time language experiences and scenarios. And last, of course, the most important is a competitive fee structure with the flexible payment options. To summarize, uh, I would like to say uh, ACZ and Ocean Learning Academy are a one-stop solution for all your needs. So those with, uh, you know, who are already studying or who is from recruitment and hiring services. So we provide proficiency, uh, language proficiency to technical and non-technical aspirants and support them with relevant job opportunities. So thereby, providing an end-to-end -end solution to linguistically specialized professionals. So in the end, uh, we at ACZ and OLA strongly believe that we can contribute to further strengthen Indo-Japanese relationship. So I hope uh, we have uh, explained all our company uh, profile and services. So any questions or anybody who is interested to know more in depth about us, please feel free to contact us at the uh, phone numbers, the WhatsApp details, the email, and the website. So thank you very much. Minasan, arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimashita, Shoshiti-san. Antoni, arigato gozaimashita. It was a very nice, clear presentation of all the details. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So just a quick question because we are running out of time. Yes, so, sure. Uh, you have mentioned about the job opportunities, but uh, yeah. they are asking, what is the exact JLPT or NAT level to be sent to Japan for on-site projects. You have yes. the placements also, right? So. Yes, very, that's right, that's right. Very good, thank you for this question. I'm sure this must be a question occurring in everybody's mind. Yeah. So let me tell you, as for the JMPT standard, most 
of the organizations require an N3 level, which is an intermediate level. I'm sure all of you are aware there are five levels, which is N5, N4, N3, N2, and N1. N5 being the basic <clears throat> or the foundation and N1 being the advanced level. So we look at at least at the N3 level, which is equivalent to NAT also, as not only from organization, even at some places they are recruiting at N4 level, but people with domain expertise and N3 will definitely have a, a you know, good future or a bright future ahead. So from, N3 is what we definitely look at. From your center yes. with N3, have you sent to Japan? Uh, yes, we have placed people in the organizations in India and further on they have been deployed on on-site projects. Okay, not directly to the Japan. No, not as that. We are in the process of it, which that is what I just mentioned is one of our in initiatives uh, likely to take off by end of this year. Oh. oh, yeah, there are many other questions. We will take yes. it up in the uh, offline mode. Yes. And uh, thank you very much, Srishti San. Thank for you very much. On a Sunday and then yes. you know, uh, <laughs> sharing your presentation yes. and thoughts. Yes. So we now, uh, you know, uh, we'll have a break for uh, five minutes and then, uh, but please uh, be tuned on to hear lots about the other uh, five companies, the Toshiba, the Solis, Fujitsu, Zeno and Mercury to go. So uh, please uh, stay tuned. We have a very good advertisement show um, for other couple of minutes and then I will be back right away, okay? Interrupting this broadcast to bring you the Japan Hub's portal. Log into our website at japanhub.org. That's J-A-P-N-H-A-B-A-P-A.org. Click on the jobs link and access the pre posting that best describes you. They are also classified depending on the type of job. But do remember, this page only stays up till April the 17th. So, what are you waiting for? And a quick note the jobs aren't only for bilinguals, they are also for non bilinguals. Please find the descriptions in the links. Deva Deva. Interrupting this broadcast to bring you the Chanhaba Jobs Portal. Log into our website at chanhaba.org. That is jpnhba.org. Click on the jobs link and then there's the appropriate posting that best describes you. They are also classified depending on the type of job. But do remember, this page only stays up till April the 17th. So, what are you waiting for? And a quick note, the jobs aren't only for bilinguals, they are also for non-bilinguals. Please find the descriptions in the links. Deva Deva. Welcome back to Japan Hapart uh, Tech Fair, your hired program. This is the third day and uh, we move on to our uh, second session. Uh, we will now uh, have the presentation from uh, Toshiba Software India Private Limited. We have Mr. Prem Gopinathan Nair, 
the general manager hr mr gopinath yeah over to you sir uh, good uh, good morning to all of you good hope, morning yeah, hope i'm audible so i'll just try to share my screen and then see whether mm, Uh, are you able to see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. So, uh, uh, good uh, good morning to all, and uh, I would like to introduce Toshiba to all of you. Few of you may be aware of Toshiba's background. Maybe you would have seen a few of the products uh, of Toshiba. However, uh, Toshiba's uh, the image in India is restricted to few products. But, uh, we I would like to. Uh, take this opportunity to take the, this journey to make uh, an awareness about Toshiba's other business, uh, what we have. So uh, we started uh, the company in the year 1875. So that's a, uh, a pretty old uh, organization, which uh, uh, you can see we uh, have close to 1,17,000 people uh, working worldwide. Uh, so that's uh, uh, the brief uh, about uh, us. Uh, the current president uh, and uh, CEO is uh, Shimada San. Uh, when uh, we talk about Toshiba, Toshiba's uh, uh, major things uh, comes from the innovation. So uh, a lot of products uh, in, in the world or uh, it could be in the, in the Japan market. Uh, Toshiba has... Uh, uh, invented or uh, uh, developed. So in this uh, we, in this slide, you can see few of the products. I would uh, want to take only one or two products, which I wanted to showcase here is the, the world's first laptop in 1985. We are all connected here now uh, through this device, which was developed and launched uh, uh, by Toshiba in the year 1985. Then the 1991, the world first uh, NAND flash memory. This is the 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 change in the uh, the way the uh, the data is stored. So this is another biggest invention which should have happened uh, for the the globe. So I'm not going into the other areas, but uh, yeah. So this is a little background uh, about uh, our history. Uh, currently, how however uh, uh, Toshiba is looking at becoming uh, one of the world's leading CPS uh, technology companies. Now CPS is cyber physical system. So what do you mean by cyber physical system? We are very strong on the uh, physical world wherein uh, we have factories, et cetera, which is on the physical world. Now we are collaborating the cyber world with the physical uh, world uh, to come out uh, the value, high value uh, services to the, the, the customers. So that's what the current, uh, business focus, what we are looking at. Uh, yeah, so this uh, is the roadmap which uh, uh, we are looking at uh, the Toshiba's group vision and uh, to be the world leader in the CPS technology uh, by 2030. Uh, yeah, this also uh, uh, gives an uh, uh, overview about uh, uh, Toshiba's commitment uh, of uh, uh, the same activity where the physical world and uh, the the cyber world we are bridging the trying to bridge the gap between these two so uh, let me move on to uh, so the the name what in india people may be remembering as the uh, toshiba's uh, laptop or it could be the tv which uh, toshiba with the brand but uh, uh, it's beyond that uh, that as i told so we are into uh, energy business. In energy business, uh, uh, basically, uh, we work on the large-scale power uh, generation systems. It could be thermal power, or it could be nuclear power, or it could be in the renewable area, hydropower, wind power, geothermal power. Uh, so almost all, all areas which we are working on, uh, uh, on the power side. Also, we are very strong in the transmission and distribution of the energy or the power. Uh, so that area is what we are also uh, very strong on. And we are also working on the hydrogen-based uh, energy supply system, pure hydrogen fuel system, et cetera. So these are the few other areas. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, so uh, to real, uh, realize, uh, uh, yeah. So 
Uh, we are also into social infrastructure, wherein we have into water treatment, air traffic control, broadcast system, railway system, security automation system, industrial system. In the building solution, we are into lighting, air conditioning, elevator. Uh, in the retail uh, segment, we are into POS and uh, uh, in the battery or uh, the power storage, we are into lithium ion rechargeable battery, which is uh, our key uh, area. Uh, in our semiconductor and storage product area, wherein we, are, we work closely with the industrial, automotive, and data centers, these are the three segments which we cater using this uh, product. So, okay, so this is another, uh, the major uh, current focus which is happening on the IoT side, where we work on the energy IoT, social infrastructure IoT, or it could be IoT for the distribution and logistics or building uh, facility, manufacturing IoT. So IoT can be implemented in across uh, for various areas. So we are into almost uh, uh, all the areas on the IoT. We really value uh, CSR and uh, our uh, environmental uh, vision uh, also is uh, very strong. So I'm not going into details. As I told, we are a very uh, uh, innovation focused company. So we have uh, and the file, and we encourage people to file uh, patent across and this is uh, the, the data. Uh, then coming to uh, Toshiba's commitment, uh, commit, uh, as uh, uh, maybe you okay, would have seen, committed to people, committed to the future is what we believe in. And uh, we our values are do the right thing, uh, look for a better way, always consider the impact and create together. These are the our values which we preach. So now in India, okay, now the, when we talk about Toshiba, Toshiba's uh, presence in India, maybe okay, many of you may not be aware. Our presence is there uh, in many uh, states, in different companies, uh, in the name of uh, different companies. In, in Delhi, we have uh, Toshiba India Private Limited, Toshiba Water Solutions, uh, Toshiba Career Air Conditioners, and uh, in uh, Toshiba uh, Power System Corporation. So these are all... Um, uh, entities in the north. And coming to Hyderabad, we have Toshiba uh, the transmission distribution uh, system. And at Chennai, we have Toshiba DSW. Uh, in uh, Mumbai, we have Toshiba Johnson. And uh, uh, the, the latest addition is uh, we have a joint venture which is coming up in uh, uh, lithium ion battery manufacturing, which is happening, going to happen in Gujarat, uh, which is uh, the factory is under. Uh, Man, uh, yeah, design and commissioning stage. Um, so the the last one which I wanted to introduce is in Toshiba Software. I represent this company. So uh, to give a uh, background, we started in the year 2002 and uh, we are headquartered in Bangalore. We have a branch in Pune. We have close to five offices in Bangalore. Or current MD and uh, TZIP uh, was established as a cutting edge technology center by providing innovative software solution uh, to Toshiba group companies. So this uh, photo which I picked up is a recent photo which we took up when people uh, have been welcomed back to Toshiba after the pandemic. So again, to give a, uh, um, a little more uh, uh, the history of TSIP. So we started in the year 2002 and uh, as uh, uh, we started as an ODC, and then we moved over a period of time in 2012, we have established our R&D center. And uh, uh, so current uh, focus, it started as an um, offshore development center, but we are now aiming to move towards the center of excellence uh, is what we are uh, currently in the journey. Okay, so just uh, for your interest, uh, okay. Mm, uh, we the few of the areas okay i have told about toshiba's business but uh tsip uh, is a purely as it used to be a only a software development center so we also have now a little bit of on the hardware and uh, mechanical area however uh, uh, predominantly our work is happens on the uh, the software area which is called electronic devices storage and uh, solid state uh, drive uh, medical system multifunctional peripherals point of sale, BMS, BMS is a, a battery management system, and the elevator, smart meter solution. These are the few areas which we work on. We work on data science, we work on uh, smart card area, ERP solutions, IoT solution, barcode printer, 
automotive. So these are the few areas which we work. We work on the, the, the software which goes into all of these products, or it could be our services. So ARP will be the Oracle and SAP area which we work on. Uh, TSIP believes employees are its most valuable assets and need to be trusted and nurtured, uh, nurtured and respected. That's what we believe in. And uh, let me move on to quickly on the, the positions, which maybe okay, you may be keen to look at. We, uh, we are looking at even uh, freshers. We are uh, uh, looking at uh, people uh, with bilingual or it could be uh, even without bilingual, we are looking at um, uh, uh, members who wanted to join us uh, 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 in the software uh, development journey uh, in the areas of it could be C, C++, Java, JavaScript, or in any of the programming language. Uh, we look predominantly from the 2021 batch and 22 batch, which is coming out. Also, we are also uh, looking at people from 22 batch uh, 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 or as an intern. Uh, those who are interested to join us, uh, we can look at 22 batch as intern. And in July, August, they can uh, be moved as an uh, employee if uh, 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 both uh, uh, the SIP as well as the, the, the candidate likes uh, to jo join us. So other than that, we also have a lot of other uh, op opportunities. We have uh, bilingual one uh, opportunity we do have as a lead business development activity, which is for the uh, wherein we are looking at a, a person who would have had at least a minimum five years of uh, direct uh, Japanese customer interaction experience. We have uh, requirements uh, on um, EV, uh, wherein where uh, where there is not necessary to be bilingual; it can be a non. Uh, uh, bilingual, uh, wherein we look at uh, hardware design development uh, and testing uh, on EV uh, battery management system. Is uh, we have requirement on we have a requirement on automotive software and uh, functional safety development, as, especially uh, on the ISO twenty six twenty six two. Uh, is uh, the another area which we have currently requirement on, and uh, we also have um, uh, people. Uh, on the senior uh, software development on the embedded firmware development with uh, uh, maybe a okay, strong uh, academic background where we have a few requirements. Uh, we also have uh, uh, associate engineering manager requirement within uh, design and development of embedded system software uh, area and the lead engineer uh, wherein we are looking at people who are having SSD and firmware development uh, and NAND flash memory storage based uh, domain skill. So you can see our all our requirements posted in the social media. There's a LinkedIn uh, where you can go to the uh, Toshiba software uh, page and you can apply. So I'm not going into uh, what you can expect. Yeah, you can expect a, a work-life balance. We can uh, have a, a expect tech savvy pioneer in uh, software technology development, strong work ethics, great teamwork, open communication. So these are all what you can expect at TSIP. What we are looking at is strong work ethics, willingness to learn, strong in technical software and uh, software, creativity, et cetera. So uh, yeah, uh, so that's uh, uh, the brief uh, about Toshiba and the requirement. And uh, we look forward, uh, uh, at least a few of you who are listening to uh, this uh, presentation who's interested, uh, we are looking forward to welcome you to Toshiba. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prem Gopinathan. So Mr. Prem Gopinathan, I think. Okay. So, um, hope there are a lot of opportunities in this Bangalore Silicon Valley with your office and uh, our uh, student, uh, the present, uh, the uh, whoever is watching today will have a good uh, yes. opportunity to apply and then be a part of Toshiba. There is one question I would want sure. to take. Is there a Japanese language turn, uh, training program for Toshiba employees? Yeah, yes, yes, we do have uh, the Toshiba uh, Japanese language uh, training programs conducted regularly. Uh, we have N52, uh, N1 members who are working with us. So their uh, skill enhancement is one of our key uh, goals. So normally we conduct regular uh, training programs uh, in, inside office. So we do motivate employees to do uh, Japanese language and we reward them apart from 
uh, organizing the the training. Oh, so we do you. have. Yeah, there was one other question. Um, do you make SSD, which I saw in the presentation? Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, uh, 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 Toshiba uh, uh, ha used to have the SSD that uh, solid state uh, drive. Now this business has been uh, managed as a. a Joint venture. The name of the company is Kyoxia, where Toshiba is also part of the uh, uh, the joint venture. Kyoxia. So, however, we do development activity in TESIP for this division. Uh, we have a strong uh, hundred people working uh, in this area who are on the specialist in SSD development. So thank you very much, Mr. Frame, and uh, thanks for joining today and being with us on the, to the program. So we now move on to the next presentation from Solize India Technologies, Private Limited, Mr. Rajesh Jagannathan. Uh, are you there, sir? So uh, yes, he's yes, the senior. Yes, I'm here, yes. yes, thank you so much. So he's the senior manager, and over to you, Rajesh. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Anjana san. And uh, thank you very much to IJCCA and our uh, Japan Haba team for giving us uh, this opportunity to present about our organization. Uh, so quickly, I would like to, uh, and also uh, very good morning to all our bilinguals. Uh, yeah, uh, first, I would like to uh, quickly uh, show a quick uh, video of our organization. And then post that, I'll give a presentation of our organization. Uh, my colleague Abhilash, may I request you to quickly play the video, please? Yeah, yes, Rajesh. Yes, I'm doing. <laughs> See my screen. Yes. Okay, that was a quick video about our organization Solis, and I would like to share my screen now. Uh, Anjana san, could you please let me know if you are able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Full yes. screen. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I'll give a quick uh, overview of our organization. First, our company name is called Solis. It's pronounced as Solis, and uh, Solis was founded in 1990. And our uh, global headquarters is uh, located in Tokyo. Uh, we are uh, currently running our uh, business operations in uh, uh, Japan, China, India, Europe, and USA. And uh, we have a uh, global engineering uh, services center located in uh, Japan, China, and India. Our uh, global workforce is uh, uh, close to 1,700 people uh, working across the world. And uh, our uh, uh, annual sales or uh, financial year 2020 annual sales is close to 14.6 billion uh, Japanese. So uh, quickly, uh, uh, the kind of service offerings what we uh, deliver to the market <coughs> is that uh, we are uh, we we are we are we are engaged with uh, most of the automotive OEMs in Japan. Uh, you can name any Japanese uh, OEM like uh, Honda, Toyota, uh, Nissan, uh, Mazda, etc. And uh, what we do is that we help uh, automotive OEMs to build their products. 
to build their products uh, 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 in the area, like uh, we help them in design and uh, digital validation and 3D manufacturing. Uh, so while, uh, while if you see the uh, entire uh, product lifecycle management, uh, uh, we start with design. So in design, uh, through the 3D CAD uh, design technologies, uh, we help uh, the customers to build their products uh, in both uh, through detailed design as well as basic design. And uh, uh, some of the latest technology, what we have adapted to help customers in doing digital validation. As you can see, uh, in the older days, uh, uh, automotives used to develop all the prototypes, uh, which involves uh, too much of cost, uh, hardware prototypes. But uh, recently, uh, kind of technologies like uh, CAE and uh, MBD technologies, what we adopt to help customers to uh, digitally validate their entire structures uh, before even they develop the prototypes. So through that technologies, they will be able to uh, save a lot of cost uh, in properly validating their designs uh, before even they take it up to prototype, prototype stages. Uh, so that's what uh, we are helping customers now. And uh, next is that uh, we have one of the biggest uh, uh, 3D printing factories in uh, Japan. Uh, recently also uh, we have, uh, we, we have uh, accomplished a great milestone of uh, uh, partnering with Nissan. Nissan in uh, to completely uh, reproducing their old heritage cars. So uh, we, we, we have 3D printed all their, because uh, the spare parts will not be available. We have 3D printed all their parts, which is uh, mechanically, uh, 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 mechanically has highly durable uh, uh, strength and uh, structure. And we are able to reproduce and then uh, 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 the, the car is being released in the market for a few less customers. And then uh, we have uh, innovation services. Uh, innovation services predominantly involve in uh, uh, digital transformation of the uh, organization. And as well as we try to restructure entire uh, organization process, especially engineering process, uh, to bring in more efficiency, uh, productivity, and increased profitability of any organization. So uh, in a nutshell, we are engineering service organization uh, utilizing latest technologies to help customers in uh, developing their uh, uh, products. And also we help them in uh, uh, increasing the productivity, efficiency and profitability. So, uh, so the name Solais, how it came is that uh, uh, Solais, S-O-L uh, in Latin, it means for sun. The sun means it's passion and energy. So uh, what we think is that we need to have uh, uh, a passion and energy like a sun to realize people's thoughts and dreams. So, so that is what uh, we, 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 try to, uh, we try to remember ourselves on a daily basis and try to work as hard as possible to realize people's dreams. So our vision is to evolve on a daily basis. Evolve on a daily basis, not just to meet customer requirements, but also uh, enhance customer or help customers in different area to increase their competitiveness in the market. So, uh, so that is what uh, uh, we, we try to do on a daily basis, as well as we also would like to bring some difference in the society. This is our vision. So our mission is to innovate value creation through engineering of wisdom and technology uh, and realize true sophisticated manufacturing. So it's all about creating values for customers. So gone, gone are those days where uh, we just delivered our services for customer to meet the requirements, no. So customer themselves uh, are facing uh, too much of competition in the market. So we need to we need to understand the values. What are the values that uh, we will deliver to customer? So in turn, customer also will gain a better value and will be able to better position their services or their products in the uh, market. So it's like a kind of win-win situation where we always try to uh, uh, look at it. So. Uh, so with that, uh, all I was explaining is about our uh, global presence and our uh, most of our headquarters, which is in Japan. So I'd like to introduce our uh, uh, company, uh, uh, Solais India. So Solais India is not new to Indian market uh, because uh, uh, previously it is called a CSM software and it was founded in 1992. And uh, <coughs> so this year we are running a 30th year of successful operation now. Uh, so we are a technology evangelist organization with 1,000 plus customers, and uh, we have uh, more than 200 plus employees. So uh, what we uh, did in earlier, I mean, in, in earlier those days, like 1990s, uh, uh, 
most of the organizations were using the pretty traditional or older technologies to drive their product uh, development. So those time, what we did is we tried to partner with uh, some of the greatest uh, uh, software development companies as well as tools and technologies to see how we can introduce those technologies and processes to ensure that any organization will quickly um, will help improve their time to market and uh, will help to uh, improve their uh, uh, seamless product uh, development. So what we did is that uh, in the, uh, from since beginning, I mean, since 1990s till now, we are trying to introduce digital engineering tools and processes, which enable the industries to design and manufacture world-class product and enhance their competitiveness. So we always uh, try to see uh, customers uh, increasing, how to increase customers' competitive, not just meeting the requirements. So uh, currently we are uh, one of the leading uh, providers of uh, CAD, CAE and product lifecycle management solutions for automotive OEMs, uh, suppliers, aerospace organizations, DRDOs, ordnance factories and other engineering industries in India. And, uh, uh, and only with this uh, India location, uh, uh, we have evolved through India locations to Germany, Netherlands, Sweden and other countries. So uh, in a nutshell, in uh, through Solace India, we do deliver global engineering services across the globe to many organizations, including Europe and Japan. And also, we uh, engage with local Indian customers, OEMs like Maruti Suzuki, name it whichever the OEM, to deploy the latest technology tools as well as uh, provide them engineering services for a seamless product development and then a uh, quick time to market. So uh, as I was telling you that uh, we are we have uh, we have been introducing technologies and process. How do we do that? Is that we have uh, we have a, a greater relationship of uh, uh, we have we have built greatest relationship with uh, uh, market leaders who are introducing latest technologies, uh, namely Dassault Systems. We are one of the platinum partner with Dassault Systems, and uh, uh, we are really proud of uh, telling that uh, Dassault Systems has 900 par partners across the globe. And uh, we are one of the platinum partners, as you would be knowing that uh, 3D CAD or CAD, any, any tools uh, uh, that is predominantly used in mechanical engineering is being uh, given by DASO, and we are one of the premium partners with uh, DASO. And uh, we are also uh, tied up with Hexagon, and we are a long-term partner with Hexagon. We have also uh, been awarded Best Indian Business Partner with Hexagon, which is uh, delivering digital validation tools. And we are also par partnered with BA Grid and Krishna and uh, other such uh, organizations where uh, consistently we can deliver the latest technologies to the market. So, uh, so this is a quick uh, a brief introduction about our organization. And then I have seen a few questions about uh, like a uh, uh, few questions when, uh, when other companies are uh, uh, presenting that, uh, do you have any opportunities using CAT X? Yes, we, our company, predominantly we take uh, the engineers, mechanical engineers, uh, who are well based with CATIA, NX, and any latest technologies to develop products. And also, uh, we also welcome engineers who are background with the model-based uh, design uh, capability, uh, who can help us in building control systems and ADAS uh, functionalities for, for automotive uh, uh, domain. So with this, I will uh, pass on to uh, Mr. Abhilash, who is our uh, HR head, who will be explaining about the open questions. Over to you, Abhilash. Thanks, Arisan. <clears throat> yeah, good morning, all. Uh, yes, as Rajesh shared, uh, Solais is a very rich uh, history in terms of technology, technology development. We have an history of about 30 years now, and we strongly focus on technology and technology development. Uh, in terms of opportunities, of course, yes, uh, we are uh, having, you know, focusing on two major segments. One is into sales. Uh, and then we sales, we are uh, technology uh, uh, sales. We sell our technology, we sell our product. Uh, it can be like CATIA, uh, PLM software, uh, the latest technologies, uh, CA softwares and all. And of course, on the uh, technology side, we, uh, of course, we focus very much on hiring young, young talents and giving equal opportunity to the experience uh, candidates as well. So, uh, of course, we start from sales. We have a position of regional sales manager, a territory sales manager. Uh, you will find these opportunities across India. We have offices at Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, and of course, uh, our head office is at uh, uh, Bangalore in India. And uh, we, as I said, we give very equal opportunity to young graduates who have been just passed out from colleges. And currently, we are hiring for uh, PLM support. Uh, we are hiring for uh, vehicle dynamic engineer positions. 
and on the uh, seasoned uh, candidate of course we are focusing on uh, nvh that is noise vice and arnis position and uh, of course we are also seeking candidates who are uh, hands on vehicle dynamics and multi body engineer so these are the current positions that we have and all these positions will be also listed in our website please go through it and feel free to contact us thank you thank you mr rajesh and uh, abilash thank you uh, yeah there are few questions um, career opportunities in varanasi uh currently we don't have a career opportunity in uh, varanasi uh, our, our major locations are at delhi pune uh, uh, we have it in kolkata uh, bangalore chennai and coimbatore also these are the major regions that we have so candidates willing uh, to move to these locations are welcome to apply so more questions are there for the internships see uh, of course yes we uh, we have been providing internship opportunities for the young talents somebody who are uh, who is interested to build a career in engineering services and of course in sales as well so we're giving opportunities for uh, the young graduates so please request you, us to you know you guys to uh, reach out to us through our website or can directly contact us are you looking for the engineering graduates or any other uh, we we are looking out primarily for the engineering graduates primarily from mechanical automobile uh, automotive uh, domain mechatronics domains so these are the teams that we are looking at oh, oh. thank you so much thank you very much for your presentation and i have been seeing lot many opportunities are already listed in uh, jobs.chapanhapa.org hope our uh, participants can make use of this thank you so much thank you uh, for today and staying this long on a sunday Thank, thank you very much anjana sir thank you thank you very much thank you so much yeah to us so now uh, we move on to the next presentation of ours with fujitsu consulting india we have mr ragunath kale the head of hr india global delivery center mr ragunath thank you anjana can you hear me yes so and thanks to solis for the presentation uh, solis uh, can you stop uh, sharing please abilash yeah rajesh sir can you please start uh, stop sharing the screen Ra so while they, you know while they are getting the screen off yeah i would like to thank uh, ijccci Uh, for providing this opportunity, uh, Japan Hub is a great platform. Thanks to Japan Hub team, and I would also like to thank all the panelists, uh, you know, who have joined since the morning from different companies, and uh, I would also thank the participants. I see around thirty-five people are there, so thanks to all those thirty-five who stayed long for last two hours, and I'm going to take another ten minutes, and then we can open up for questions. let me know if you can see my screen yes please go ahead great okay so uh, thanks for joining and that's fujitsu fujitsu represents sustainability and its support in the sustainable development goals of un this is me i have around 20 years of experience you know and that picture is taken at the delhi airport uh, you can see the muffler around because this was in december when i was traveling um, i have around 20 years of experience in hr and i joined philips around 5 years back and uh, it's been a very exciting journey uh, we've been growing very very rapidly fujitsu is number one company in japan from an ict perspective uh, we're the eighth largest in the world or, you know we contribute uh largely to the sustainable development goals of the united nations uh, we are around 129000 people across the world and we serve customers across 180 countries uh we started as a telephone switching company uh and then moved on to you know it hardware and today i think we are amongst the top 10 providers for servers uh we have huge number of patents 97000 uh, i think there's a huge opportunity for us to Uh, move these 97,000 patents from Japan to 
uh, the global uh, globe and, and and start globalizing Fujitsu. Uh, Fujitsu is headquartered obviously in Tokyo. Our vision, you know, our, our vision is basically, you know, as one of the world's largest company, we want to build a better future. Now, if you see, it's good to say that, but if you look at the values, that what, what do we really value? We value our employees, customers, business partners, our technology that we offer, and the quality. And, and, and this is all done through our principles and our code of conduct. I think we, we you know, most of the global companies do comply to human rights and the lo local laws and regulations. But our focus is really to, how do we really uh, have a very high level of code of conduct and still support sustainable development of the United Nations? We've been awarded, you know, by Dow Jones on the Sustainability World Index. And uh, we've also been awarded as the, on the climate change issue. So CDP has been uh, engaging with us and listing us in the top companies. Uh, our vision is to transform from an IT company to a DX company. So today we are a, largely an ICT company and we want to make the world more sustainable by building trust in society through innovation. Uh, this is a very powerful vision. And when I, when I, when I, when I personally joined Fujitsu, what really um, you know, uh, attracted me was the focus on sustainability. to ensure the world is more secure. So every citizen can feel safe. AI で呼び出したのかどう診断が必要です。それが私たちの仕事です。That was a small video on Fujitsu. These are the sustainable goals uh, that United Nations has, and we are, we are contributing to these goals uh, very, very seriously. Uh, I think, you know, I'm personally involved in the uh, SDG 8, you know, uh, how to really uh, promote innovation to build a human centric society. Uh, if you see decent work and economic growth, uh, in India, we have a very high level of focus on reaching out to uh, the uh, underprivileged uh, societies. So if you see, we, we run special campaign to hire people from uh, absolute, uh, you know, remote areas of India under the Apprentice Act and even as, as graduate trainees. So if you see, we, we want to build uh, a diverse network and at the same time, we want to be supporting the uh, goal, United Nations goals. It went to some other page, just a minute. So in, in you know, it's, we have a program called GRIP and under GRIP, we actually have five pillars. So we talk about, uh, we work in the space of community. So there's a lot of work that happens between Fujitsu and the community. Diversity and inclusion, you'll see slides on what we're doing there. Uh, environment, uh, if, you, if you come to a Pune office, you'll be amazed at the way the entire office is constructed. And then obviously, you know, all our products are, are very carbon cautious. Our operating practices, we believe in extremely fair and ethical operating practices. Well-being is a very key element uh, in Fujitsu. So you will find, if you read reviews about Fujitsu across uh, the internet, you'll find that well-being is cornerstone to our uh, value proposition. These are some of the pictures, uh, you know, which uh, showcase the work that we do across the world. Uh, these are not only in India, but across the world. This slide talks about the global delivery centers and it, it talks about uh, the organization that I'm part of. I'm so sorry, this, uh, let me, yeah. So 
be present in you know in these development centers. So if you see India is here, we have Malaysia, Philippines, China, Russia, Poland, Portugal, Costa Rica. So from a time zone perspective, we're present in all the time zones. And from a language perspective, so whether it's a catering to European customers, Scandinavian you know, customers, we have centers in Poland and Portugal, uh, Spanish, Mediterranean countries, we cater from here. Costa Rica mostly you know, supports the American continents. It is also a multilingual uh, GDC. India is the only uh, development center that works for all customers across the world. Uh, India also supports Japan largely, and that's the reason I'm on this call here. Russia is supporting European customers, China, also Japan, Philippines, some part of Japan, and some other customers. Uh, so, and, and you just look through the GDCs and what we do at the eight GDCs, but largely uh, the development centers are part of the global strategy uh, for Fujitsu. We are, we are right at the center of the strategy of Fujitsu. Now let's talk about what we do in India. In India, we're, we're based in five locations. So we're, we're Delhi, in, uh, Delhi in Noida. We're based in Pune, that's the headquarter. Uh, we're in Bangalore, Chennai, and Hyderabad. And we're growing everywhere. Uh, we were founded in 2001. We're around 7,000 employees. And uh, this number is changing very, very rapidly on a daily basis. I think by Friday, we were at 7,167. We have around 200 global customers and uh, we're doing 24 by seven support. I saw someone asking questions about if I'm in masters in commerce, how can I uh, get a job? Uh, you can surely get a job in uh, Fujitsu because we are not only doing IT, but we also do business process services. So there are several areas and several opportunities for everybody. Uh, this again, I repeat, but yeah, we're around 1000 crore in India and growing very, very rapidly. We have a Good diversity mix, thirty-seven uh, percent, and we do. We, there's a lot of focus on training and development. So if you see, you know, we've done professional certificates around thousand, and uh, we last year we did five lakh forty-four thousand training hours. Uh, that's quite a large number. So that kind of tells our focus on developing talent. Uh, on this slide, which is talking about diversity. You know, we, we've literally taken a target of 35%. We moved it by 9%, you know, we have 37% diversity. And this is across levels. Also, we focused on generational diversity. So I'm very proud to say that in Fujitsu today, we have four generations working together. And uh, we, we, we value diversity to bring in uh, different thought processes and make us more innovative. Uh, you should follow us on, on all our social media handles. Uh, we're there on LinkedIn, Facebook, and on uh, Instagram. These are the services, you know, these are the portfolios of services. So all guy, you know, all of you who are from technology will immediately understand this. This part is predominantly infra. Uh, this is more of ERP software, SAP, Oracle, ServiceNow, MSBA, service integration. If you see BPS here, this is the opportunity area for everybody. You know, you could be legal. Uh, so there was a question that I'm even, can I get a job? If you are applying for Fujitsu, there's a very high chance. We have a team of more than 200 legal specialists supporting different legal, uh, you know, different legal departments and uh, different companies across uh, Europe and America. Uh, workforce and workplace. This is again about uh, work-life shift and this is, uh, about the remote end user supports that we do. DX, this is the area which is, uh, you know, we're talking about the new uh, technologies. Uh, we, we, we are going to launch uh, on the 20th of April, our research lab in India and Bangalore. So AI, IoT, RPA, uh, all these new areas, we're working on it. Enterprise cybersecurity is one of the key offerings of Fujitsu. Fujitsu is very trusted in Japan and across the world for offering fantastic uh, products, whether hardware or software in the enterprise cybersecurity business. That's the life at Fujitsu. You know, when you talk about India, this is a pure India slide. Uh, you can see this is my recruitment team sitting with me and uh, we're doing, this is the IPL, the Fujitsu Premier League that we have. And we've been getting a lot of media attention. That's primarily because we do a great job. So, Sara was featured on NDTV, Manoj has been 
uh, talking on different forums. Sumit, my boss, uh, who is the global vice president, was awarded the 40 under 40 uh, by BW. That's the media coverages. I will send over the slides and you all can read. Why work at Fujitsu? Fantastic work-life balance, extremely diverse and inclusive workplace. Uh, you know, proponents of uh, the next normal. So we have a hybrid working space. We don't insist on people coming to offices. Uh, and hybrid is your hybrid, so it's your choice. You know, you want the way you want to come, the way you want to operate. Uh, so the idea is really Fujitsu is a workspace where you can be yourself. You know, and uh, building a sustainable business. So you'll see sustainability as a key theme everywhere. That's it. So we can probably open up Anjana for questions. Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Raghunath. It was a fantastic uh, presentation and uh, open culture and talking about uh, the innovation, sustainability, grip. Yeah, that uh, makes Fujitsu a strong weapon. Thank um, you very much for uh, today. And then I think I'll just take up this question. Uh, Fujitsu involved in uh, AI and deep learning, which you have already answered that. Yes. So, yeah. And also, thanks for taking those questions on the, you know, the legal uh, uh, openings and also on the MCOM openings. Thanks for that. Yes. And, and we do have a bond. We still have a bond. Yes. Thank you. There's a question from Sneha. Yes. You know, so I thought, let me answer. Thanks, Sneha, for, yes. you know, for your kind words. Uh, yes. Thank you for the detailed presentation and enlightening us regarding the opportunities on Fujitsu. Yes. Does Fujitsu still exercise a two-year bond? You yes, asked. I said yes, we do. <laughs> we have a bond, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for this. So uh, we will have to move on to the next presentation. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. You. Raghunath. Yeah. Uh, we'll be in touch. Thanks a lot. Thanks, for, everybody, for uh, joining today. Yeah, thanks. So uh, now we move on to the next presentation, the Zeno Management Consulting uh, Private Limited. So we have uh, Amita Goelsan, the partner and head of GCOE practice, and also Ms. Raki Deshpande, who will support Amita on the presentation part. And um, uh, Amita, you will have uh, five minutes and two minutes for the questions, five minutes presentation. Over to you, Ms. Amita. Hi, can you see my presentation? Yes. All right, thank you. Well, thank you everyone for joining on a Sunday morning. I truly admire your passion for your career. Uh, thanks for people who've joined on this particular channel, also on YouTube, uh, really appreciate it. We'll talk about um, you know, how Zenove as a management consulting company is partnering with several global companies to charter a new success for them in global locations by leveraging the top talent countries like India have to offer. Um, and after that, my colleague, Raki Deshpande, who heads our talent acquisition, she will talk about various job opportunities with these global companies. Um, so who is Zunov? Uh, Zunov started about 20 years ago. In fact, we celebrated our 20th birthday on 1st April. Um, our CEO, Pari Natrajan, and two of his friends started this company and the idea of starting the company was globalization capability building, which you see on the top left of your screen. Uh, Pari was visiting India to expand a team for his employer back in US. And he realized that the Indian ecosystem is right now at that point in time was not conducive to help global companies expand and leverage talent in India. And his vision was, are we gonna stay a back office country are we going to stay only a service provider country or we are going to drive value for global companies and be part of their success stories? I'm very, very proud to say that that dream, that dream has started to come as reality. India on the global map is viewed completely differently and a strongest software tech hub. Apart from helping companies to globalize, we also partner with several customers on digital transformation, go to market strategy. And we also have a sister company called Drop, which is a machine learning and AI platform for data and sales intelligence. Most of our customers, uh, as you can see on the map, are from the US, Europe, and APAC region. A lot of customers from Japan. Um, and we are industry agnostic. However, our core stays 
how do we help global companies with technology talent to grow faster and innovate faster? You can see some of our customers on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, companies like uh, very huge companies like Google, Microsoft of the world are our customers, but very fast growing new age companies are also our customers. In fact, one of our customers is also going to present right after my presentation here. Apart from being an extremely data rich, research rich, knowledge rich company, we also partner with advisors from around the world. Some of them you can see in, on the slide here. In fact, um, you know, Yukio Takeri san is one of our advisors, used to head Sony India at one point in time. And now he is actually author of one of the most popular books in Japan, which is called India Shift, which talks about how can Japanese companies leverage India. We, we leverage our advisors based on their domain expertise um, you know, as required. We also partner with several uh, organizations, both from India and internationally. Uh, all of you must know NASCOM. A lot of reports that NASCOM actually publishes are done in partnership with Zuno, including their latest report on um, what is the global company landscape look like in India. We also uh, partner closely with Jetro, with German Cooperation, Swissnext, et cetera. Uh, for some of these companies, uh, some of these organizations are leveraging us on how can they build innovation corridors? How can the companies from their home countries can tap into the innovation and brilliant ecosystem of India? We have been for the last 10 years, the top 10 global companies awarded by IAOP, which is the International Association of Outsourcing uh, Advisors. And we are actually a five-star company for the last 10 years consecutively. How do we help in globalization? There are various angles to it. There are companies who uh, work with us to completely build their strategy and feet on ground, including building their teams, that is hiring their teams, and then driving value from these for these teams. The first bucket that you see on your left, which is Global Centers of Excellence, GCOE setup, is, is that bucket. And you can see there are companies which are all the way from Fortune 20, Fortune 500, to new age and um, you know, fast growing companies in that bucket. We also work with several companies on their innovation platforms and their innovation charters. Uh, and we also work with companies on designing centers of excellence around specific technologies like artificial intelligence, RPA, automation, et cetera. Um, we do a report and uh, our, our new, you are the first audience to see <laughs> one of the slides from our newest report. This is not even published uh, on, on the media online. We, we look at about 13, 14 countries across the world and we see where is the top talent residing, where can companies go. Uh, this is a macro view. Uh, the color denotes the cost of talent, red being high and green being lower. And the size of the bubble denotes the volume of software engineering talent. When I say software engineer, I include quality assurance, software developers, uh, SDEF people, product managers, et cetera. You can see countries like, it's no surprise, countries like India and China have a huge volume. Um, but, but I think the key difference is one that in China, the prices are going up. So salaries are going up remarkably. They have a huge, uh, you know, homegrown market to cater to. And also um, the English fluency sometimes can be a big challenge. If you see the map, it is very, very evident that India has an upper edge in terms of volume and scale. We, this is a very long report. I only have two slides here. So we also ranked all the countries based on four parameters. The first one is the, the availability of talent, the cost of building out such teams, how matured is the ecosystem. When I say that, I mean, what is the availability of tech startups, of service providers, of great academia, engineering schools, along with global peer companies? We combine all those parameters in maturity index and ease of doing business, which means how easy it is to do business in these countries, how much the government is helping, how is the business ecosystem in terms of socio-political and geopolitical stability. When we combine all four parameters, India again stands on top um, and it is consistently being standing on the top. Other countries which are on the top five are Canada, China, Poland, and Mexico. And as you can see, a lot of uh, Eastern or Central European countries are in have high ease of doing business. That's because of their GDPR compliance. But countries like Belarus have had huge um, instability due to internal um, geopolitical disturbances. And therefore, 
their ease of business is going down by the day. We have some emerging countries like Vietnam and Costa Rica, which are showing a lot of promise. And that's why you see an asterisk next to Vietnam and Costa Rica. If you want a full view of this report, please go to our website and you can access it. Talking about India, you know, what makes it the really strong software tech hub? There are more than 400 global companies in India and this number keeps growing. 10 years ago, we were about 750 plus, we already doubled. Within the period 2019 to 2021, more than 140 global companies have entered India and they are doing remarkable work. There are more than 50 global companies doing work specific to AI and ML. And we are very fortunate to say that we actually partner with many of the company logos that you see on your screen right now. And our agenda and our core mission is that how do these companies leverage countries like India beyond just back office work, beyond just support work? How do we, how do we partner, how we democratize talent and how do we make ensure that the talent which is capable of building products for them is being leveraged optimally from our country. How do we do this? We basically divide our approach into three phases. The first is design, and we really focus heavily on this because we want to ensure there's a right organization structure for people to feel empowered and feel ownership. And the charter definition as to why they are working for this global company is very clear. And there is a strong executive sponsorship. We very closely work with the global CTOs, CIOs, and CEOs of these companies to ensure that the investment they make in our country is leveraged fully. And once this design of the center of excellence is foolproof, that's when the rubber hits the road and we start hiring, including hiring the leaders for these organizations and growing it um, using strong HR policies and benefits plan, et cetera. The end goal is to ensure that this team is driving high value. This team has strong domain expertise for these companies. They have thought leaders and the talent is, has a strong power to put its mark in the global charter of this company. Nita, I think we are running out of time and two sure. minutes exceeded sure. of the time. Sure. So I will pass it on to my colleague, Raki, who is going to quickly walk us through the companies we are hiring for and the link where we can apply for the jobs. So Raki, over to you. Thank you, Amita. And hello, everyone. Um, keeping in mind uh, the time limit, I will not get into too many details. But um, and I think we don't need to tell you why careers in a product company are a great career. Right? All of you aspire to get into product organizations because product organizations give a complete different taste to career in terms of how you're contributing to that particular product globally. You're not just an organization that is providing you know, uh, some services from offshore, but you're actually participating in the build, design, and release of great products that are getting used worldwide. So Amita, can we go next? So here are some of the companies that uh, Zenov has been instrumental. We have, these are Zenov powered companies that have come to India and uh, are very successfully now set up as uh, product companies and most sort of the brands uh, in the product uh, area. So we have Data Accent, which is based in Pune. Uh, this is a 45 year old organization, you know, working with uh, data that is helping uh, organize their clients to a lot of market research and uh, you know analysis around the client requirement, which enables them to uh, get the relevant products out in the market. This is based in Pune, and you know we are looking at certain positions. I have listed them down here. For all the roles that we have, and even more, you can always any query you can write us to japanhaba at sanov.com, right? And we you will uh, you know assure you that we'll certainly respond. So Data Excel is one such organization in Pune, and let's move on. Um, so this is Castlight. This is another organization that is in the healthcare industry, uh, you know, and uh, they're transforming the employee benefits part uh, for for uh, companies around the globe. Castlight is based in Hyderabad, and uh, uh, they have started with the hybrid working model. Data Excel has also started with the hybrid working model. So please reach out in case, even if you're looking for a complete remote, you know, we don't know if that position can actually give you that facility, but we would love to hear that from you. Amita? Yeah. 
Quorum is a very, very uh, specific product company into the oil and gas sector. Uh, uh, Quorum, I think, uh, across the world, they are the leading oil and gas sector ERP company, and now they're moving their entire ERP onto a cloud. So it's a great organization in terms of culture. Um, they are based in Pune, again, um, and you know where to write us, japanhapa at zenov.com. Toro is, again, a very niche organization, uh, you know, in terms of the uh, equipment they manufacture. But what they do from India is to develop software that supports that equipment. Uh, so if any one of you are using the Alexa, Alexa ACs, AC supported by Alexa, you know, that is something that Toro does, that the equipment, the software that is used to, you know, customize the equipment is developed from India. Again, based in Pune, one of uh, the leading and very niche product organization. Next Actually, one, I think, uh, Yeah, we can put yeah. some of these in the uh, jobs.japanhamba.org, please. So we will do that. Mercury yes. is actually waiting. And, uh, okay, yeah, sure. Please go ahead. Uh, I think, uh, Aminda, can we go to the last slide? So the jobs that we have currently are based in Pune, Bangalore, and uh, Hyderabad. Uh, so please reach out to us at uh, japanhaba at uh, zenov.com. And of course, we will upload all the jobs too. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Amita and uh, uh, Raki, for your wonderful presentation and explaining about the uh, entrance to India. Thanks a lot for your time today and uh, uh, joining us. So, Thank you. We'll now move on to the next company, Mercury, and uh, we have Kayo Uzumi-san, um, the developer PR from uh, Mercury, uh, waiting to make the presentation. Over to you, Uzumi-san. Over to you. Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, then I will share my screen. Uh, yes. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, let's start. So uh, hello, everyone. Uh, hello to all Japan Hapa participants. We are Merukari, Japan's largest C2C marketplace and the first unicorn company in Japan. I'm Kayo from Merukari Developer PR. I'd like to introduce our company and present our plans for the future in India. It's great to uh, great pleasure to meet you all here today. So the Merukari app is a C2C marketplace where individuals can easily sell used items. We want to provide both buyers and sellers with a service where they can enjoy safe and secure transactions. Many sellers enjoy having the item they, don't, they, don't, they no longer need purchased and used by buyers who, then, who need them. And buyers enjoy the feeling of hunting for treasures as they search through unique and diverse items for lucky finds. Medical strength is, in any case, it's easy customer experience. We offer, a we offer a safe and secure transaction experience through a scale payment and a delivery environment that allows you, allows you to easily send items from a convenience store or a post office near your home. We also offer technology easy listing as a future. This developing, uh, development has significantly increased the number of our users. This is a result of our business. A total of 2.5 billion products have been listed on our app so far. And now 20 billion million people in Japan are using our service. Compared to the size of the Japanese market, our business still has a great potential. Of course, this is not limited to Japan market, but the C2C market is expanding globally. That's why we began to expand our, uh, expand our business overseas. We started our business in the US in April 2014, and we adapted our branding, improved our UI, UX, and created a delivery network to match local preferences and the characteristics of the US market. We recognize that succeeding in the US with its huge and diverse population is an important milestone to achieve our mission. So that is where we are dev devoting our energy. Uh, this is our company overview. Based on Merkel C2C business, we are developing many related service, uh, services, fintech, logistics, NFT, and the blockchain also. For the further growth of these companies, it is very important for us to involve the best tech talent in the world. 
Next, I would like to introduce the culture that our company values. We call our culture trust and openness. Uh, material trust is very important for Mercury based on a promise uh, of trust. Information is kept transparent and the organization is very, very flat. This is because we believe that everyone's united thought and actions lead to both personal growth and a stronger organization. And also we take the concept of diversity and inclusion very seriously. Internally, we uh, workshop a workshop are held to help members recognize unconscious bias among the, themselves. And we all have programs such as Spirit of Mercury, an internship program for underrepresented groups. Other d and related initiatives are also focused on by the company. Our organization currently has members from over 14 countries and more than half of our engineering team consists of non-Japanese nationals. We believe that diverse organizations create very in innovative services. So now uh, this is a main uh, information from uh, our presentation today. Uh, I share with you all our plans for Mercury India. We will be establishing a development center in Bangalore this year to further enhance our organizational cap capabilities. Mercury wants to create high quality service and want to hire top talent as it believes India is a good place to start when it comes to technology talent. In 2018 and 2019, we hired more than uh, more 50 new grads from IIT in India. It means we already have a lot of Indian, Indian, Indian engineers in our company. There are also members from India who lead medical engineering organization in the leadership role within the company. The history of Mercury has been accompanied by the activities of Indian members. So we are still in the middle of a global challenge, but we are excited to meet new Indian tech talent in Bangalore. We need your talent for new challenges. Please join Mercury as your new career growth. And I promise you can find an exciting next journey here. So finally, we want to get uh, some comment from Mohan, head of engineering at Eng uh, Mercury India. So Mohan, can you please give us a comment? Can you hear me? Can you yes, sound? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, thank you, Kayo san, for a great introduction of our company uh, and sharing briefly about our plans in India. Hello, everyone. It's been a long time you are here, and I hope this is my this is the last presentation you will be having. Uh, I I'm Mohan. Uh, I joined. I have been part of Mercury since last three years, and I have played several roles in Mercury, such as in the engineering manager and head of engineering for some of the core platforms of our marketplace application. And uh, uh, personally speaking, my journey so far with Mercury has been very exciting with a lot of day-to-day -day challenges in an evolving environment. Uh, Mercury has been a company who believes in uh, customer experience as well as ex uh, employee experience. Uh, as kayo -san has mentioned that Mercury is the first unicorn of Japan and the journey of Mercury so far has been very inspiring. Mercury believes that we cannot achieve our global mission without having global members in our team. Uh, diversity and inclusion is very, very important to Mercury. And that is the reason 50% of our engineers uh, are global engineers in our Tokyo headquarter. Uh, in order to provide the best customer experience in the ecosystem of our business, we realize that we need to expand our engineering capability drastically outside of our existing bases in Japan and US. And one of the obvious choice to set up our global center of excellence is Bangalore, India. Uh, the reason being it is one of the, I mean, it is one of the topmost tech hub in the world. And we believe that India and especially Bangalore has ample tech talent who can help us to achieve our global mission. In India, global center of excellence, we would like to set up our integrated product development teams for our marketplace and fintech and uh, other new initiatives going forward. And uh, our engineering culture believes that we need to have autonomy with accountability. And with that, we would like to set as many autonomous teams as possible in India, specializing, specializing in back-end development, front-end development, mobile development, and all sort of software engineering development going forward. Yeah, having said this, I think this is a very new journey for us, and it is 
it is it will be very very exciting as well as challenging at the same time we believe that it is going to take a lot of efforts and teamwork to achieve this and that is the reason we would like everyone to join us to make this journey a successful one we will be hiring soon so please stay tuned stay tuned to our linkedin updates and thank you so much for listening to our talk today that's it thank you so much yeah thank you so much uh, kayo and uh, mohan uh, thanks a lot for today and uh, we come to the end of all the presentations and thank you very much everybody for your patience i thank the presenters who have taken their time off on sunday and then you know coming here and being with us till uh, this time it's almost uh, two and a half hours and thank you for this so we thank all the participants the students everybody who have joined us live from the youtube discord and this uh, session on the zoom as well and we hope this was uh, this has helped you and uh, please visit the jobs.japanhubba.org for the openings listed and you may also share this to your friends and other contacts which would uh, definitely be of some help and i thank japan hubba organizers for putting up this big show continuously and this is the third day and uh, thanks for all your patience and uh, you know last week also we had the tech fair and the uh, startup pitch and tech pitch so it's been a continuous 10 uh, days journey and uh, a big big thank you for, for the back end team thank you so much so this is um, anjana signing off this you are hired program thank you all presenters once again thank you thank you very much anjana sir it was a great uh, you know opportunity thank you very much thank Thanks you so much thank you antoni arigatou gozaimashita minasan